What's up, yo, loyal for kick this? Costello, legal doyle like in G O. Shout out to everyone tuning in to kick this. Where am I? Big up, Brixton. I have to ask you, um, have you any thoughts on the recent visit by the Queen and Obama? <laughs> uh, Costello first. I had a verse, bro. Just a little small part in and I said, uh, our forefathers had never allowed our monarchy parading. Look at the land they've been wrongfully claiming. Had their colony station with every resource and commodity taken. It's just think they come back and they say sorry and this and that, you know what I mean? And plus his party said, it's just something that they can hide the media up with, you know what I mean? That, uh, look, all these stay visits and this and that, you know? Well, what are really down behind it, you know what I mean? Because all them choppers and all these cars we seen going around, like, but, man, to have feds and all in them, you know what I mean? From America, like, tinted up and all, you know what I mean? That's a bit bogey running around Dublin, you know? Dublin looked like it was locked down. Like, yeah, did anyone even was. see any of these people? Like every single person was being searched, like, in, in the day. Yeah, like women and like women and children and all. Like I wouldn't get into the politics on it and all. First of all, the people hyping up their visit. Like who really cares? We have our own situations to be dealing with. But I think one of the most significant things was the amount of money that it cost for all the security. You know what I mean? And and, and they're paying money for these worthless, useless visits. Like I mean, it's ridiculous. Carry on. Right. When was the last time you were blown away by anything? Costello first. Music wise. Anyways. We yeah, are just having an old school day and Paulie just fished out a lot of classics for us, just threw them out to us and the youngsters, the brass cast, all and least. It was just we were having a good day, like after recording a few tracks so you can uh that, that, that definitely blew like me mind, yeah. Definitely. And yourself, Lethal. Uh, just seeing what all the boys that I'm doing stuff for is doing Gitchy when he sent it over the beats to me. Um, at that time, I was really writing, but I didn't have anybody to work with production wise. And then I heard them beats, and I was like, and then I heard Costello Ruim, and I was like, oh, and then everybody else for real came back out. Then I mean, I'd be more blown away by everything that the lads are doing or I do stuff with. That's cool. And yourself, GI? Um, yeah, yeah, it's the same with Polly. Like, uh, the new stuff that we're doing is like real, it gives you a sense of excitement. And then uh, on the music tip, like from just from being a listener and all, like that sort of Malakoy ain't your future, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it's anyone in the UK that likes that hip hop needs to support sort of Malakoy ain't your future because that is so knowledgeable. It's also grimy. It's street stuff as well. Finally, life without hip hop. What would you be doing, Lethal? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you be honest. <laughs> Probably locked up. <laughs> no, I don't know. Look at what, what age were you when you started? <coughs> 17. 17. Now 20. 22. So I wouldn't go to that extremity. I mean, who knows? It could have went either could've way. Been. You know, you never really know. Like, but. Costello, what would you be doing? Someone asked this question before and I said a few things, but there's another answer that I think if hip hop wasn't created, I think us boys would have created it <laughs> right now at this time. I, mean, I don't know. Like, been into a lot of other things, but definitely it would have been music somewhere. I would have picked up a guitar. I can't sing, you know what I mean? That's where I start rapping, you know what I mean? That, yeah, definitely. Because I understood that when I was about 11 or 12, and then I understood that you can make deep out stories from this two pipe friend that's got a baby, and it was like. Because it was all relative to what was going on. There was always teenage mothers and crackheads and gear heads around the States, you know what I mean? So we, all, we could see early from listening to them songs that that was there, so. I, I don't know, man. I, and GI, what about yourself? What know. would you be doing? D- don't mean to be dramatic, but I'd probably say I'd be dead if, I were, if it wasn't for this. Because really? I wouldn't have met the people that I've met, like, and the environment that I was in and the the generation that I, I grew up in. My generation was a bit bogey, so I don't know. You couldn't really tell, really, you know what I mean? Right, it's possible. Anything else you want to say to listeners in Brixton? Yeah, definitely support hip-hop in your own country there is a lot of heavy stuff coming out from the uk at the minute don't pay too much attention to all that grime stuff yeah there's not much lyricism or content going on and that but the hip-hop stuff and then as well as that with the oldest hip-hop of what we're doing you know what i mean you might say ah oh, yeah damn weirdest they should be fighting or drinking they're all pikeys, they're all this, that and the third, you know what I mean? Everybody has their own stereo toys, but don't knock it till you listen to it, you know what I mean? And then understand what their culture is a little bit, and you might just like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that what we want to just say. These are all our cousins over there, you know what I mean? Straight out, those are our close relatives, you know what I mean? When you look at the UK and the population that is in the UK, how much of it is made up of immigrants, like people that like, that, like we were saying, that rap earlier, that they were colonies of the British Empire, you know what I mean? And then the people who from Jamaica, exactly. Africa, wherever, that's 
that's India and all, that's what England's made up of, you know what I mean? So shout out to all like, the cultures like what all the universal have, you know what I mean? The Irish boys, lands of scientists, scholars, keeping it real. <laughs> What's up, up? your lawyer for Kick This? Costello, Little Doylek, and G.O. Shout out to everyone tuning in to Kick This. Where am I? Big, Big up, Brixton. I'm kicking it with Elmont from TCRFM. Tune in, baby. <laughs> Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it?